Hello everyone and uh, welcome to the HZ Tech Pavilion in Davos. We are in the middle of a digital revolution that has the potential to solve many of the world's pressing problems. The key game changers are the young, energetic and like-minded people of today who hold the power to drive lasting change. They are both highly aware of major global issues and enthusiastic about finding solutions and creating a more inclusive world. How do we empower and enable these minds to reach their full potential? How about a global hackathon? Uh, today, we are joined here to launch a hackathon on digital inclusion called Code for Youth. Uh, I'm joined by Ashish Kumar Gupta, Chief Growth Officer, Europe and Africa and Diversified Industries for HCL Tech, and Laura Frex, Executive Vice President and Chief Executive Officer, Zone Latin America for Nestle, who's also the leader for Alliance for Youth at Nestle. Uh, Laura, Ashish, welcome. Thank you. So Ashish, uh, great conversation. Let me start with you. Uh, why is HCL Tech a member of the Global Alliance for Youth? Okay. That's a great question. Uh, you know, uh, when we started off last year uh, with Nestle as a strategic partner uh, in IT, uh, one of the things which I think uh, we impressed the Nestle you know, leadership team was the culture which HCL has, right? Uh, the culture which is extremely caring and a lot of the values actually sort of completely meshed between the Nestle senior leadership team and HCL. So we were invited to come in and start talking uh, to the Nestle team about this thing called Alliance for Youth, right? Uh, what does it do? Uh, we discovered that it's actually, you know, a forum where, you know, Nestle is trying to do its bit to get, you know, uh, youth, uh, right, across the globe to really come up, right? And one of the themes which, at least in Europe, I've been very, very particular about is disadvantaged youth, right? Working with them, you know, with charities like Princess Trust, and a lot of others and you know in India we've had a lot of work which HCL Tech and uh, the Shiv Nadar Foundation have done around youth and making youth more educated, more included in the future growth potential which we have in sure. the economy. So it just made absolute sense for HCL to you know dive straight in and say yeah we'd uh, love to be a part of the Alliance for Youth. Fantastic, program. fantastic. Thank you Ashish and uh, Laurent we've all heard so much about the Global Alliance for Youth and uh, we know that you lead it at Nestle. And what is the mission of the Global Alliance for Youth? We would love to hear more from you on that. Well, the, the, it's, it's a big mission uh, because we want to uh, empower and uh, help young people uh, get access to economic opportunities. And we want to do it together with like-minded companies like HCL is, is one of them uh, through um, skilling, reskilling, upskilling, uh, supporting young entrepreneurs, supporting um, also vocational educational training, the type of education that combines the theory and, and the practice, which we believe is the best form uh, of education. And um, we, we started as, uh, at Nestle uh, the initiative alone, because we believe that the business uh, can do something uh, to support and enable uh, youth inclusion. Uh, they, have, they are facing and the world is facing massive problems and, uh, and of course the youth uh, has to be part of the, they have to be part of the solution, they have to be enabled. So we started alone, we, we believe that we, we could do something about it. Uh, but quickly uh, we realized that yes, we could do something, but there was a drop in the ocean and that if we would be working with like-minded companies then we would have a snowball effect and uh, create a bigger movement and a bigger impact. So that's the spirit of the Global Alliance for Youth and we, have del we are delighted to have HCL uh, as part of it because you bring yep. capabilities you. and you bring the... Uh, no, thank, thanks Laurent, it's, uh, it's actually been a lovely journey since <laughs> the time we started to be honest. Very yeah. Yeah. And that's such an incredible vision and congratulations uh, on the initiative. Uh, let's talk about digital inclusion, uh, Lauren. Let's, let's get your thoughts on that. I think the theme of digital inclusion is so relevant for Global Alliance and I think post-COVID uh, there was such a digital divide and yeah. I know it's so important for the youth. So, so why digital inclusion and why is it such an important topic for Alliance for Youth? I think it's so critical because uh, today the knowledge is available. Uh, you can ac have access to information, you can have access to communities, provided that you are digitally included. Mm -hmm. And that has to do with infrastructure, that has to do with uh, devices, that has to do also with um, skilling. Uh, so, yes, the youth can be empowered, uh, 
um, but but they need to be uh, digitally included. Uh, so it's absolutely critical uh, critical topic. Uh, I believe that there are three topics essential to economic and social development. Uh, it's not new. Uh, one is uh, uh, infrastructures, and in the world uh, of today, in the world of the past, and the world of today, it was about roads, bridges, ports, and so on and so forth. But today, digital infrastructure, technology, is absolutely critical. It makes a big difference if you have access or not. Uh, of course, education is a big one, and uh, digital yeah. skilling uh, stems uh, is of the essence uh, nowadays. And, and, and the last one is rule of law, so maybe it doesn't have much to do with, uh, <laughs> with technology, but, but for, the, for the other two, uh, digital inclusion in particular is absolutely of the essence. Uh, thank you, Laurent. Uh, on the topic of digital inclusion, Ashish, uh, uh, why do you think Hackathon uh, you know, is such an interesting and important channel? Uh, to explore this whole topic of digital inclusion and youth alliance. So I'll, I'll, I'll get to the hackathon, but I just wanted to amplify sure, on the topic sure. of digital inclusion, right? Uh, see, the way to think about the whole topic of digital inclusion is uh, uh, we have roughly about 60% of the world which has got access to the internet, right? Uh, and if you start thinking about the youth among these who don't have access, so that translates to between 2.8 to 3.5 billion people who can't access the internet or can't access any digital content. And you start thinking about the youth, you're talking about 350 to 500 million youth, right, uh, largely in developing countries who are going to sort of get you know, really behind, right? They already have a lot of other factors which they're going to be, you know, dealing with. But, uh, you know, digital inclusion uh, is something which can really accelerate their sort of progress or melting into the uh, world economy much faster. So it's a very important topic. Now, why, why choose a hackathon as a topic, right? Uh, so one of the things which we've been experimenting with in HCL is we've been saying, okay, if we can actually bring the problem statement, right, and we can bring the power of youth and the power of coding, right, all together into one platform, right, and let that, uh, and we just serve as a catalyst, right. Uh, can that actually produce outstanding results, right? So our first experiment on this was with Manchester United. We did some hackathon with them. Then uh, last year we did a fantastic hackathon with the healthcare team uh, and with Microsoft, right? So when, uh, you know, uh, when the Alliance of Youth told us to come in and start helping on the digital inclusion team, uh, the theme, we said, okay, there are obviously three areas which we will start working on. But one of the things which will energize all of us in bringing all this together is, you know, let's just go out there and, you know, the problems are known, right? Now, just get a lot of young, smart kids with lots of coding capa uh, capacity and capability mm -hmm. to come in and start, you know, presenting brilliant ideas. Mm -hmm. And from there, I think we may find some uh, sparks which actually we can scale, right? So that is the whole idea of why do you want to use a hackathon? comes naturally to us, I suppose, but you know, I, I think it's worked for us in the past, so it's a, it's a good platform, we think, absolutely, uh, for this. Absolutely, and the fact that it allows us to bring an ecosystem of our clients and partners yeah. uh, and coders together, I think that is... Uh, yeah, really and the even, uh, even people like Princess Trust, people who understand the exactly. issue on the ground, right? Exactly. Uh, we can bring all of them together and really let innovation then bloom. Fantastic. Uh, Laura, we are all here at Davos, and I think uh, the best of the business community is here at Davos. Uh, and uh, how do you think the business community should help create awareness about uh, digital inclusion, especially amongst the youth? Uh, what are your thoughts on that? Well, I think the Hackathon is, is a great initiative because it's calling on the creativity that is, that is out there and uh, putting the challenge and the topic uh, uh, on, the, on the stage. Um, I. It's one of the beauty, beauties of um, this generation that it's environmentally but also socially conscious. So they are motivated by the topic and I'm sure that we will see a lot of uh, initiative arising. But then, uh, of course, we have big names around the table, HCL, Nestle, L'Oreal, Microsoft. Yes. And uh, individually and together, we, we can make an impact uh, to promote uh, this topic of digital inclusion. Uh, we, we need governments to build up the infrastructures, uh, otherwise the youth will not have the access to uh, the knowledge, to the market, 
uh, to the communities mm -hmm. uh, and, and as citizens they will not be empowered. So it's so essential for all human activities that uh, we make uh, a strong uh, uh, progress in that, in that direction and that, that, that concerns all of us hopefully and should concern the entire society. Fantastic, fantastic. Thanks for that, Laurent. And then, uh, since we are here to launch the Code for Youth Hackathon uh, and, and hopefully get great participation there, Ashish, uh, uh, why don't you tell us a, a little bit more about uh, specifically the Code for Youth Hackathon and what's happening? Uh, and then, Laura, would love to get some of your thoughts on specifically the Code for Youth Hackathon as well because we're launching it here today. So, uh, you know, we've kept it quite simple, actually. Uh, so there are four areas in which, uh, you know, we're going to start inviting a lot of uh, problem statements mm -hmm. from people, you know, either in the voluntary sector or the non-voluntary sector, right? Mm -hmm. So get a lot of the problem statements and from the partners, right, L'Oreal, Publicis, uh, Microsoft, HCL, all of us will bring in a lot of, you know, uh, problem statements in four areas, uh, right, access, uh, skilling, right, uh, accessibility and so on and so forth. So once we get a lot of these problems, right, we're using a third party, uh, you know, hackathon platform which is essentially going to sort of you know uh, launch this with a lot of coding clubs right? and a coding uh, you know set of people and uh, with all of these people what we're really going to do is we're going to start coaching and guiding them and we're going to start working with them uh, at the end of the day you know uh, there are some very good prizes right uh, there's uh, you know some monetary prize which will be shared by the top three people which yes. you know the alliance for youth is sponsoring yes uh, we also have you know uh, the winning teams coming in and participating in some of the sort of european tech festivals right just Fantastic. to sort of give them uh, you know this. so 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 the whole idea is just make it fun right get a lot of these uh, people to come together all right and we've seen this working, so yes. I'm re uh, relatively confident. Sounds it's super exciting, work. Ashish. Yeah, and Lona, you have any any closing thoughts on the Code for Youth Hackathon? What are your, what do you think are your objectives, and what are you excited about? Well, I think it's great to use those kind of platforms that are innovative, that are creative, that are collaborative in a sense. And this is just walking the talk, uh, calling on the creativity of uh, the the young generation, their their capability, and I'm sure that they will surprise us and uh, there will be lots of great uh, uh, ideas and concepts and projects that uh, we will be able to support down the road to uh, make an impact uh, for our use, uh, for them to be uh, digitally enabled, uh, to be included and to be part of uh, the solution to the massive problems the community is facing, uh, be it uh, the environmental sustainability, including climate of course, but also this issue of inclusion, economic development, uh, so many dimensions to which they can contribute, provided that they are included. So it's absolutely essential and uh, we are very appreciative and very supportive of the initiative. Fantastic. Uh, thank you so much, Laurent. Thank you, thank Ashish. You. Uh, thank we you. wish you all the best and hope this is the biggest and the best and more importantly, the most impactful hackathon ever. Uh, thank you so much. For so time. be it. Thank you. Thanks thank you. Yeah. Thank you and that's a wrap. Uh, we hope you all look forward to the hackathon and participate in collaborate. Thank you again.